Here's my Pretty Pretty Scarecrow and I'm here to play for September 23rd through the 29th and this is the week that I get to study Mr. Ballin. Like I love that guy. He is the strange, dark, and mysterious delivered in story format and he's coming to Houston for like a live show, I guess live storytelling. Am I excited? I am. Is my husband excited? No. But is he gonna go? He is. And I am using the Cryptids kit because like I feel like it's perfect for that, right? Strange, dark, mysterious. Like I'm here for it. So here are the full boxes checklist and goodies, bottom washi date covers, and then the add-on page with the glitter headers and such. And then I have the extra boxes, which were the July freebie boxes with the Kelpie and a Jackalope, which I don't really know if I would count either one as cryptids, but I'm going with it. And then, <laughs> are you surprised? Are you surprised that the wood grain washi came out again? Since a huge chunk of these are like in the woods or, I mean, even the Yeti, even though it's snow, there's still trees in the woods. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna use that. And then I bought these. I don't remember where they're from. I will have to link that below, but they're very cute. And they're the strange, dark, mysterious and story format. It's the like Mr. Ball and catch fake phrase. I have the Jumbo Deco, which I don't think I'm gonna use, but just in case I thought we should have them. I pulled out the spoil bundle from Scribble Prince Co. I just thought the color was so nice with it. And I was like, I kind of want to figure out how to pull it in. And then I have one partially used freebie and one full freebie because I am I'm wanting to use all the cryptids this week. So cute. So this week is, um, it's, it is Thursday the, it's Thursday the 19th. So I just painted my nails and I'm trying to get out of having to do housework per usual. And I was like, let me get filmed because I need to post this video anyway. I just filmed a uh, planner review. So that's coming. And then I'm going to, when this is done, probably film my October kit lineup. So it's going to be busy. Anyway, I want to use all the boxes and I want to try to figure out how to get all five of the boxes in a line, but I don't know if that's actually possible. I feel like I've done it before, but I don't know. And then I also, it was like, I want to use the glitter header so I can do a full foil spread, like full bougie. So maybe instead of trying to get all of them to line up, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the glitter headers and on Saturday or on Friday when the Mr. Ballin thing is I'm going to do two deco boxes and then I believe Sunday I'm also going to do two deco boxes just because I can't that's just how I feel like doing it I was going to color block and I'm still kind of considering color blocking um Friday let's see Friday color oh I can't really do that actually I guess I could Friday and Sunday, I could do that. Huh, maybe I could try it. Are those two different blues? Y'all, these are two different blues. <gasps> I never caught that. Oh well, we're going for it, it's fine. Maybe I will color block, that sounds fun. So let's just start with Monday. And then we'll put this here. Cute, okay, perfect. So yeah, I wanna use all of this foil. I just feel like, this is the vibe. Like, it's just what I want to do. I want to make it really snazzy and spiffy and we just have the best time with it. And that's how I want to do it. And I like that for me. So anyway, what's been going on? Oh, okay. So um, there's that big fire in Deer Park. So that's been cool. We're on, well, I think it's finally out. I saw a thing this morning, again, it's Thursday, that said that they were able to get the car that drove into the pipeline, which or the pipeline valve, um, they were able to get it taken to like a scene to take a look at it and see what's going on. I do not have a lot of hope that the person in there is okay. That's just me, but I don't think they're okay. I love the Nightcrawler, so I think that's the first one we're going to start with. And yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of faith that they're all right. So I hope so, but... I, I didn't hear the explosion. We were not even a mile away from it, but I didn't hear it. And I actually, we only found out about it because our power was blipping. And I texted Sarah, or messaged Sarah, I was like, my power keeps just blipping. It's very odd. And Kevin was in a meeting and he was getting so upset. He's like, my power keeps blipping. And we, you know, this is such a struggle. So he's trying to stay in his meeting, but he can't. And it was such a vibe. And then his work friend calls and was like, hey, buddy. I think I figured out why your power keeps going out and Kevin's like, why? And he's like, oh, somebody hit a natural gas pipeline over by your house. And I was like, of course they did. Um, but I really, I really hope that the person in the car is okay. I don't have faith that they are. And then a lot of the houses nearby, just from the sheer heat of it, 
um, they caught on fire and I feel so bad. There's a GoFundMe for a couple of the families that we donated to. Um, I don't know. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. It's a weird place for a neighborhood too. And that's a weird thing to say, but like it's right by a Walmart and it's so interesting because there's a graveyard on one side and then the Walmart on the other side. And I just feel like that's a strange place for a neighborhood. And then finding out it's next to something so very volatile. Now, who thinks somebody at a great rate of speed is going to drive into it? Nobody. But again, I still think it's kind of a strange place for a... I also think that I shouldn't have done this yet because I think this goes too high. It does go too high. You know what? It's fine. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put down um, the next box because I think... That one will be let's see here. And we'll do the blue. No, too sad. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm doing a really bad job of it too, but we're just gonna go with it. So let's do this one, and then I need a blue box. And then I'm gonna put this washi back. It'll be fine. However, it turns out. I feel like by now you know that I don't care that much. I care just enough to be kind of bothersome. Oh. Nope, that one's gonna go at the top. I pulled the wrong one. Ooh, do you wanna do Nessie or Mothman? I'm gonna do Nessie, I think so. Because if the bottom of Nessie gets chopped off, oh no, that's the wrong one. That's not right, that's the wrong color. Yeti or Kraken, I'll do Yeti. Or where's my other ones? That's fine, I don't care. I'll do Yeti here. Cute. And then, oh yeah, a little bit of the seats covered up. I'm not too upset about that. It's kind of a bummer. I wonder if I could kind of squish it down. What the heck? There was a weird noise. Squish it down just a little and cover up some of the writing. Oh yeah, that's a little better. I'm not mad about it. I don't care enough. I don't love this bottom washi. I think it's cute for the theme, but for me personally, it feels too busy. And then you add this wood grain washi on top. I definitely, and um, out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I think it's okay. Maybe not my favorite thing that's ever happened, but I don't think it's bad. And yeah, so we'll do this box here. And we'll do this box here. So yeah, the pipeline, um, that's been weird because they've been like the main road in front of my house was closed and I had to go the back way, which is fine. But like, I was finding it increasingly difficult to find routes that weren't just completely inundated with people because they were also having to change, you know, their normal way of driving in there. It was just like getting to my dad's only takes like 35, 40 minutes tops. And it took me, it took me like a good, almost, almost an hour to get there one morning because of all the people. And then getting home was fine. I took the ferry um, after I went and saw Sarah, but it was just kind of, it's kind of bonkers. I was like, why, why? I guess I never thought about how important um, having the road open would be. Okay, that is really cute. It's going on adventure, but so is that header. So we'll just kind of, I almost said rub it out, but that was grossly inappropriate. And then we'll do this one. Oh. I love this already. Okay, the the thing is on uh, Friday, right? So Friday is the actual event. I don't think I have two blue boxes. So what if I, I, I might just put them on the sidebar. Though Sunday, I am thinking of having a full on Tanya day and I do have an extra one that's this color. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. I haven't decided, but this already is very cute. I can't believe these date covers are the wrong color. I mean, I can. This seems like something I would do. Um, I'll have to go fix it on my file and moving forward. Hopefully nobody, nobody noticed. Well, you guys are going to notice now. If this really bothers you, message me and I'll send you a, you know, a set of date covers. Boop. Okay. Very, very cute. All right. Thursday is my bonus color and who gets to go in the top corner because of the bonus color. I feel like it's going to be Mothman because Mothman is without a doubt my favorite. Yes. And then I need some date covers. Yes. Date covers. I've been doing my going to visit my papa 
and like my no sugar, which I am not having a good time with the no sugar. Um, we haven't went yet, but we're doing that um, sandcastle building competition. Kevin's like, oh, there'll be food. And I was like, well, I know for a fact, I'm gonna drink a fancy drink and I'm going to eat food there. So I think I'm going to pull in the Kelpie at the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the Kelpie in down here. That's cute. Perfect. Love that for me. I think I'm gonna pull in another thing of washi if I can. Well, maybe not, because I know that I have that box at the bottom. Where is my currently reading? Ooh, it's blue. Yay for me. That was such a nice choice I made. We'll be in frame. I can't even tell anymore. Cute. And then I need a highlight sticker. Where did I throw my book? Okay, I got it. And let's see. Something, ooh, I could use one of these like muddy colors over here. This one's a really gross muddy brown, but this like gray would be nice. But I think I'm gonna go with this tannish, ooh, but this one might be really nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's a little darker than the other ones. Oh, look at my nails, aren't these pretty? So pretty. Okay, happy with that. So let's see, The I know that we have a Molly Vet appointment here. So I'm gonna go ahead, that is gonna be a royal pain in the rumpus. She's still having issues walking, poor thing. Um, the vet seems to think that it was during the manhandling, which sounds terrible, but uh, we had to get like a urine sample and you know, to see what was going on. And I get that, that was very hard on her. So because she was walking just fine before that, the vet seems to think, um, that it was just all due to having to manhandle her. And I, I agree. So she's been on some extra pain meds. So once a day, right before bed, I've been giving it to her so she can actually get a good night's sleep. And I think that's been really helpful for her. Let's see, should I put those up there? Is that too fun? Put those here. I don't know. I might just have to get rid of those and see what I feel like. Um, let's see. So yeah. We're still just giving her a break and seeing what we can do for her. But there for a while, sorry, I'm thinking. There for a while, I thought this sweet little baby was going to Jesus and I was not having a good time. I was like, absolutely just devastated, like devastated. But upon review and talking to the vet, I may have overreacted a little bit, but I was just worried and so I'm not gonna apologize for that. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put this here where it kind of goes over that box because I don't really know where else to put it. Originally my thought was I would put it at the top. I think I put it here but it covers some of the words and then that's kind of busy. And then I wanted to use this one but now I don't know because that looks kind of weird. So I think I'm just gonna kind of put it like that. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna embrace whatever sort of nonsense I have decided to do. This is like a really pretty confetti foil. I thought it was kind of fun. I'm gonna get, I have a shirt that says basically Strange, Dark, and Mysterious in story format. I'm gonna wear my black jeans and I'm gonna wear my boots and maybe I'll do makeup, we'll see. And I think it's gonna be a fun time and maybe we'll go out to eat, I don't really know. Okay, maybe not my favorite thing, but it's very important that this is in here and I paid way too much money for those, so we have to do. Alrighty, um, I don't know, vet appointment. I could use, I just want to use them. So I think maybe I'll just use the Flatwoods Monster. It's fine. I do have a Molly like vet visit one, but I just, yeah, I really like it. Hey, claps for Tanya. Okay. Yes. Over. Okay. Um, where are my date covers? Because of course we already lost them. So yeah, um, anyway, that's it. She's doing good. Really happy for her. She is napping right now. She's still in her troll era. So, and her appetite is still a thousand percent. I was like, ma'am, chill out. We've been giving her, um, she used to not like wet food. And I mean like to the point that she would go eat her like just nasty dry food. But ever since she hasn't been feeling good, she's been really enjoying all the wet food and all the cuddles. And I think she's enjoying being babied a little bit. And so I've been mixing her wet food 
and her dry food together with some water to try to give her some hydration because she also is the worst at drinking. I don't know if you your cat is like this. Molly, honest to God, I am not sure how she is not dead from dehydration. She will lick the side of the cup all day long. And you can look and see that water's getting everywhere, but is it getting in her mouth? I, I don't know, friends. I just don't know. And let's see, at the top, so do you, okay, I'm gonna do, I wanna do my Strange Dark and Mysterious here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the bottom of that one. And just deal with that, even though that's kind of throwing off my normal. I'm having to go sideways, sorry. You guys know that I can't be like directly on top of my planner, and it sucks. So, yeah, I want to use the Strange, Dark, and Mysterious right in the middle for Friday. So that's when we're going. And because I don't have another box to use, it'll have to get the job done. Oh, that's cute. We're done with this sheet over there. And then we'll do this one here. And then. We need one more blue. Oh, flatwoods. That's fun. I think this one's probably so, like, the my favorite of them is so cute. Let's take flatwoods monster right here. And then we'll put the strange rock and mysterious like this. Oh, that'll be cute. But I just realized it kind of goes into the other days, so we probably need to do the other days too. So I think what I'm going to do is do a middle, a top, a middle. Middle, top, middle. And I need one more. So middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care anymore. This is taking too much of my brain power. And already these videos are really long. And then we're going to add in it trying to figure out box placement. No, we're not doing that. So just this one here. All right. And then we need... Nessie? Yeah. No, that's the middle one. These browns are too close together. I need my glasses. I'm telling you, I'm over here struggle bussing. Alrighty. Cute. I need to make an eye appointment, actually. I uh, had asked Kevin about it, like, hey, do you want to go? And he's like, yeah, I need sunglasses. I've been using the pair I wear, and I really enjoy the heck out of them. I'll be honest, I think they're awesome. I broke my one of my arms, so my sunglasses um, snap on just fine, but the, it's only one arm. So it kind of like gives me like ear pain. And honestly, they're just not dark enough for me. So I'm going to keep my red um, frames that are just, I don't know who they're from. I got them, I don't know, two, three years ago. They're in fine shape. Oh, no, that's not right. They're in fine shape and I'm gonna go ahead and keep them as my main glasses. And then I get a, a frame allowance and then a lens allowance. I think I'm gonna pay out of pocket for a set of lenses. And then I'm going to use my um, lens or my frame allowance and my actual lens allowance for my sunglasses. Because I am tired of not being able to see in the bright Texas sun. I'm like like squinting and getting like extra wrinkles from the squinting. It's a real look. It's a real look. Okay. All right, let's see. Cute. I mean, I think this is already coming together really nicely. I'm gonna put the sticker. I will link this down below. I will say that these, they are definitely made in house and they've got some sort of just lamination on top that is just put on with the squeegee. I don't know if they were worth $4, but I, didn't want to make them myself so by that logic they were in fact worth whatever amount anybody wants to pay for them because I also didn't want to deal with it and I get that for myself I love that for me actually okay and we'll just do this right here oh that's cute a little boogity but you can't win them all and then um let's finish this one and here and oh no and here cute I'm gonna have other things going on on Friday no doubt so I'm thinking of doing like this little checklist because I don't have as much real estate and then doing 
a half box is what I wanted to do to mark Mr. Ballin with Kev just because I, I, I blocked off the box to put my stuff in so I don't, I don't really like where this is oh no I love I love the placement I love it do Mr. Ballin at I think it's like 8 p.m maybe seven whatever it's fine like it matters we'll be there and we'll be on time um I believe that we can use a yeti for this one because it's not on this page I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave out a jackalope I just I don't have space and I really don't want an additional box like I just don't so Sasquatch here Perfect. Okay. And then we'll do the rest of these. I'm, I'm not going to keep you guys on screen while I put down all the overlays and stuff. You'll just see them in another plan with me at a later date. But these are the core events that I have going on. The vet, I'm very interested to see what she has to say about the little chunky trunks. I am very curious. It's been a very stressful um week and some change I'll be honest because like I'm like please don't die please don't die um but she seems to be doing good and she's on those steroids so I'm not even sure if her like appetite is really like super on like she's eating a lot y'all and I, I was talking to Sarah and she's like well isn't she on steroids that will like make her hungry it's like, oh so I don't I can't even tell the vet like her appetite is normal for the steroids, but is it normal for, you know, her? I mean, yes -ish? I'm just going to go and just whatever happens, happens. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's fine. Oh, we've been watching Preacher. Have you guys seen that? I think it's, I want to say it's a sci-fi show, but it's on Netflix. And it is a weird show. I've never watched a show where there's only one character that I like, and he's not even supposed to be a good guy. But I don't like any of the good guy characters. It's very odd. I am, I'm not vibing with it. I mean, I'm enjoying it. Hold on. That sounds bad. I am, in fact, vibing with it. I'm curious. I want to know what's happening. But it's weird that I'm a big fan of, like, the... Oh, I ripped that up. I'm a big fan of the anti-hero. I like it. I'm, I'm here for it. But in this one, there's only one of them that I actually like. So, like, if something happened to the other ones, I'd be like, eh, it's fine. They've deserved it. And that's very strange. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna put it here up a little bit and kind of between the two of them I mean it's fine it's an overlay it doesn't have to be perfect so yeah really cute I like this a lot let's open it up see what we're working with and then I'm gonna go back later and fill in all the boxes because that is not oh you wanna see my messy desk okay I can't tell I can't tell if I'm playing we're gonna have to be because this is where I'm stopping. I love this. I think it's perfect. I think it's absolutely perfect. I got some cute um, plaid nail like stickers for Mr. Ballin because he always wears plaid. He wears a baseball cap too, but I'm not doing that. But I love this. It's so cute. I think when all the foils in, it's gonna be really cute. Um, some past spreads. Uh, September. Just put some pictures of the baby. Trashy romances have thankfully, in fact, sped up. I'm currently about to start this book in the next day or two whatever that is I'm still waiting for my library books I think something's wrong with the placement because I keep jumping around from being almost my turn to way at the bottom of the queue I don't know so yeah I love this got a picture of my papa finally knocked that one out this one turned out really cute I actually changed out how I did the bottom washi this is darker there's not really any true black in this kit I don't really care I was like I'm going for it with the purple foil I just I think it's better than the um what is it like their version of stardust just i thought it was too busy so i did this which is still just as busy but like purple busy and then i haven't finished this one yet but this is when sarah and i went with her boys to the flight museum and it was really fun she doesn't like this picture she says she looks tired but she has three boys and i think she looks great so here sarah if you're watching this now the whole internet sees it and will agree with me that you look perfect and then this is the current week we're in it's thursday the 19th I have film videos. I just was working on some new mollies this morning. Kevin's got a meeting and won't be home till like 9 p.m. I'm gonna take a bath and enjoy myself. And then tomorrow I'm booking a cruise for Kevin and I's anniversary. We have a bunch of reward points for our Capital One card we need to use. Like, I don't know, it's like 500 bucks. 
and we're um we're closing the card down so i was like why don't we just book it and then you know it'll be in i want to say we're booking it in like february or march or something we pay it and we call it done so this one's running out cute and i'm loving pulling in all of the deco stickers instead of having to like look for different mollies i've pulled in some though but like you know little sick molly i had a headache from that awful roaring noise from the explosion and then we have this one which i'm going to be doing the same thing where i pull in a bunch of the mollies just to having said i did it and yeah i like this one anyway thank you so much for stopping by i love if you gave this video a thumbs up if you decide to come join the nbc Super family that would be absolutely incredible hit the subscribe button tell me what you think of this kit because i love it bye